starting today in this hotel that I've just stayed in. It's called the Campanile. It's French, but it's it's in England. This is my beautiful view. Nothing like waking up to a bit of industrial fence in there. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go to the museum. Here we are, folks. We've made it to Beamish. This is an old mine cart behind me. It's really been used in some of these mines here in Northern England. So we're about to go into the museum now and have a look. We've made it here early to beat the rush. Alright, our first stop on this little adventure here at Beamish, we're about to have a look at the colliery with the old mine. And I can see it coming through the trees here. It looks pretty epic. So we're down here at the old mine, to some impressive old equipment line, some of this old cast iron stuff. And then this here, I think there's an old band saw. So the blade would come around here and then ding. Driven by a flat belt. And this winch here is incredible, the size of it. Cool train carriages there, and then on top of that wooden platform up there, that's where the coal would have been taken on the cart over to that building, and then the train would have come along here underneath that, underneath that there, and the coal would have gone into the carriages, and then a while they would have gone to the industrial heartlands of the UK. This old coal train over here, we'll try and get a wee clip of it. It's got one of these side tipping trailer things on it. For unloading the coal inside of the rail. Some big industrial pieces here. Maybe water pumps for pumping water out the mine, I think. We'll go in here to the engine works and have a look. So, this is a proper old workshop here for the trains, and on the far wall there is a drive shaft which is powered by a steam steam engine over here and then that would have driven any equipment here that we're using to fix the trains the trains are amazing they didn't make them like they used to big lathe all the 
this is British engineering which is lost now because we didn't really make much. Look at that big crane thing there, the big hooks. So you can see the exhaust of this train here goes up through the beam of the crane. You can just imagine the boy coming down the line thinking he was fair the man in this latest technology. Looks like the name tag's been robbed off this thing. The size of those wheels. There's the driver's seat. So it's quite cool to see the old works of the place there. It's good to see the history, the way it used to be back in the day. So this winch behind me here used to draw the carriages out of the mine, which for a way it got down over here. That's how I've now got a hard hat on. So that was the mine there we were just down. It was a little bit of, it was a little bit of, uh, dark to be getting some good video footage but look at the size of this piston here that's at the side of the yard. I would imagine there was probably bronze piston rings of some sort in there sealing it. We're going to go in here and look at this slightly more modern mine shaft. I think up these cast iron steps. So this is where the coal would have come in from the mine down here, and it would have come along this conveyor belt down this hole here, and it. It would have dropped through that hole into the carriage there. That's the engine there for driving the thing at the far side. Oh, here's a photo of it and it's prime. It's not very clear, but we'll, we'll go through here and have a look. So what this thing is here is, this is for weighing the, the coal carriages. And this is the 
giant old wind skills. I can the lights no very good in here, but it's no bad. And this must have been where the coal came up with this giant rope. See this old mine, it's kind of like what you would see on a film or something that you don't see very often. It says no more than four men on each deck. Where the rail, this is where the rail carriage came in from the mine over here on these tracks. Really an impressive view of the site that you get from up here. It gives you a different perspective on everything.